Okay, here's a similar one. We have the absolute value of x is lo oops. Finish that off. Is less than or equal to 10. So we rewrite what's inside the absolute value bars. So basically in the first part here we just drop in the absolute value bars and rewriting it. Now we notice that the inequality here, remember I said look at it as the head of an arrow and it's pointing to the left. So this time we're going to use the word right. Did I say right? I meant the word and. My goodness. Okay. So this is going to end up being x is less than or equal to 10 and x now we're going to flip the inequality and throw a negative out in front of 10 here so there's our solution x is less than all values less than or equal to 10 and all values greater than or equal to negative 10 now what exactly does this look like on the number line well let's just draw it out so I suggest learning this for the first time to uh, definitely draw a number line. So let's plot uh, number negative 10 here and we'll put 10 right here and I'll use a different color. Okay so x is less than or equal to 10 so now we're including 10 here so let me just put a solid dot. It's everything less than or equal to so everything to the left of 10. This says x is greater than or equal to negative 10. I'll use a different color this time. And remember we're including 10, so I'm going to put a solid dot here. So it's, whoop, that's actually supposed to have been a solid dot here. Okay, everything greater than or equal to negative 10. Okay, we're using the word and. So that means when we pick a number, it must satisfy both this inequality and this one, right? So in other words, if I were to pick 11 and I plugged it in over here, the absolute value of 11 is not less than or equal to 10. For, for uh, the absolute value of 11 is 11. 11 is not less than or equal to 10. So it has to be because and, and means it must satisfy both this inequality here and this one here also. So that means we're going to be left with, I'm going to use a bracket here because we include negative 10, comma, and 10. And we use brackets because we include parentheses if we don't include 10, right? So it's everything between negative 10 and 10. Okay, let's say we had the absolute value of x plus 5 is less than 10. We'll use 10 again. Now this time we've got to get this in standard form, and that is we're going to take this constant here over to the right hand side of the inequality and when we do because it's a positive we take it over to the right it becomes negative. So now we have the absolute value of x is less than 5. Now you should know how to work this one out. I'm going to go ahead and give you the answer and you try working it out and getting this interval here, negative 5 and 5. All right, so it's important that you try working these out on your own.